let's take a look at one of the classics the m1 abrams not the ip or the a1 but the original vehicle that brought about the current status that is usa in the high tier meta now before i go ahead and dive right into that i just want to let you guys know something pretty important uh someone has been ripping my youtube videos and posting them on the chinese site billy billy which i think is the chinese version of youtube at least from what i've seen i mean my translator for it is a little rough to be honest but basically they're using my old logo they're using i, th I think they put my character as, as a female i think I, I have no idea it's kind of weird right and they basically just tore everything up and they have been claim not claiming it as their own per se but they're sharing it with their audience without my permission, if that makes sense. And that's something I kind of take very seriously. Uh, so to those who are currently watching this video from said site because this person decided to do it, know that it's not authorized. I didn't get permission and I'm going to take action against it as soon as I find out how to do it. Uh, give or take about maybe a little under a week, depending on how much time I put into it. But uh, bear with me, guys. OK, we'll figure something out. I promise. All right. So stolen content is not cool with me and trust me i'll do things to make it very not worth your time i promise so with that being said on to the actual m1 abrams itself now this vehicle when it first came out and i think it came out a little under three years ago three three ish years ago i think i, I forget when this vehicle actually came out it was the top dog this vehicle was very difficult to kill it had very good firepower it was very fast it still is to this day but unfortunately, it kind of got left behind in time. And what I mean by that is, sure, the speed of this vehicle is phenomenal. It's the lightest Abrams of the bunch. And for obvious reason, it has less armor. I mean, it has significantly less armor, as you can see right here. Now, the left side of the turret face that we're facing right now is unfortunately the weakest side. DM33105 and above DM120, uh, or excuse me, DM23120, etc. will go through this side of the turret face without much issue. And behind this happens to be some pretty important modules and crew members, the gunner and the commander himself, which by the way, the weapon can be operated by the commander. Uh, aside from that, it's just, it's the original Abrams and it didn't age too well not in most areas such as firepower this is probably one of the biggest downsides of this vehicle uh, m774 was recently buffed thankfully unfortunately it's still not on par with say dm33105 m833 etc which by the way i have no idea why gaijin decided not to give this vehicle the m833 when the ipm1 got m900 and then before that it got the ma33 apfs ds it just it kind of boggles my mind a little bit when this is sitting at 10.0 and has some pretty weak firepower compared to say like the leopard 2k which may have less armor more speed but it's overall a more efficient vehicle and sits at 9.7 so this is kind of a weird spot for this vehicle besides from that it does have some pretty good perks to it it does get generation one thermal sight fantastic sights by the way three times to 10 times no citv unfortunately uh, but it doesn't really need it and if you crew this vehicle out correctly meaning that you have a level 150 or an expert crew you can bring the reload rate down to five seconds that's right much like the ipm1 you'll be firing that m774 every five seconds with an ace crew i currently have no expert crew on this just because but 5.8 seconds is nothing to really scoff at. Plus, good turret traverse. You have good vertical targeting speed for the most part. Good reverse rate. Good uh, acceleration. And you'll kind of see it in the actual gameplay itself. Look at it like a heavyweight XM1. If you know how to play that vehicle very well, this thing is going to fit your playstyle incredibly well. So, with that being said, let's take this bad boy out and see how it performs in this current environment. Let's begin. Did you know that Kuban was one of the first maps I think I ever played on? Yeah, I'm not even kidding. I think it's one of the first ones. This is such a legacy map for me, and it has a small place in my heart, but doesn't really mean I enjoy it too much. Now, here's some cool things. We got a full down tier. That's right. All XM ones, kind of a shame. And another thing too is the ammunition. Guys, I carry, I can carry a full rack just fine, but the idea is to keep the ammunition away from the inside of the hole. I want to keep all my ammo in the turret. It just, remember, the turret is the most protected thing in this vehicle for the most part. You don't want to carry all, what, 50 rounds, 48 rounds, I think it is, because you'll have six in the lower right hole, which, by the way, will get you killed very, very quickly. So just keep that in mind. But I'm kind of hoping for the best this round, but seeing one in the down tier, I don't expect too much trouble. Oh, what's this? Ooh. 
Oh, dude, you scared the hell out of me. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, what? I thought I thought it was like a weasel or something, just for a quick second, but uh, his DM23 would have hurt. I got one front and 48 super. His DM33 will hurt. Go get him, buddy. Yeah. My turn. Let's get him. Oh. Sorry I couldn't save you, man. I was about half second too short. All right, let's snipe a little bit. Oh. I hit him. I'm gonna try. Yes. Ish. I, I got his try. <laughs> uh, his mango round will hurt, by the way, a lot. Okay. Gotcha. By the way, if you didn't know, that's called suspension shooting. You just go forward and you back up really quick and it lowers your suspension almost in the front part of your tank and you can get shots just like that. It, it's it's a muscle memory thing. I got one more vehicle up front. He knows I'm here too. Okay, maybe he doesn't know I'm here. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> nice try though. Oh, I've got one more up here. Sounds like a, a CV90 of some sort. Hmm. I'm curious. I'm curious. I'm curious. Okay, I was gonna say please don't flip. Gotcha. You know you can shoot through that building, huh, buddy? <laughs> now he knows. All right, let's get that point. I got one more front. Judging by the machine gun, it's got to be a leopard of some sort. You shot? Okay, sorry. I thought I heard something to my right. Or left, I mean. Excuse me. Let's just get this point and get moving. Oh, there he is. Woo! I was right. Okay. I wasn't going crazy. All right, we're good. Sound like an SPA of some sort. This is a good part. Ooh. Where the hell did that come from? I don't know where that come uh, where that came from. Oh. Gotcha. Ish, sort of. Oh no, that's a 72! Hey! Okay, he doesn't know how to shoot me. I I think we're okay. I could parge right in front of me. And so you try, buddy. Oh, here he comes. Come on, come on. Low, 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 low. Come on, fire. Oh, okay. Whoa, we traded breach. Woo. This is an intense fight. <laughs> I'll take it. Huh? Oh, no. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah. It's always got to be an aircraft, huh? I think I just killed him, too. So I can't even remember the last time I played this map. It's been that long. I rarely ever get it. In the higher tiers, it's almost every single time a night game. Almost. But in the lower tiers, it's usually day game, which I deeply enjoy. But here, you know what? We haven't played it, so let's make this count. Take left side. <laughs> I can't tell where he's at. Okay. I okay. Oh, there's one right there. Got his track. Yeah, I've got someone back here. Okay, Leopard 2K is gonna try to yoink the kill. Ooh, we're okay. Yeah. No thanks, buddy. Ooh, there's a second one. Ooh, that terms of shot. Come on, fire, 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 fire. Oh boy. Oh, this might hurt. Come on. He's a potato though. I'll give him that. Got him. Woo! Don't ask how I survived that. Don't. Just don't. I've got one more to the right still. He's still there. The question is, where? There he is. Gotcha. No! Hey, buddy. Okay, I got a better reload than him. He's the present threat. Oh. Damn. That was a good fight, though. I got a backup. Let's bring it out. So check this out. We've got two spawn campers coming in right now. There's one. Come on, buddy. Poke out just a little bit more. You and your buddy here. I, I don't know what those are. Got one. Just got one more to handle. Same area. Here he comes. Bounced. I've got a better reload than him, so if he tries anything, I got him. But he knows what's up. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm gonna try to side scrape. No promises this works. There we go. 
<laughs> uh, a little uh, trick of the trade. That's where their ammo is always stored at. So if you can side scrape a, a T-72 successfully, that's where you want to shoot. I've got one more right down here, and that rad might get him. It's WMA. No? I don't know what the hell. Oh, you got him. All right, good play. Oh, another BMP. Or, uh, excuse me, a BMP. Oh, come on. What's the difference? Seriously? We had three more than them. Hmm. It's kind of expected that we were going to kick their butts. But one more thing, too. Didn't they really uh, reduce the amount of points you get from bouncing shots or take away the entire reward system for bouncing shots? Yeah, I just... I found that out recently because I, I noticed something weird... And I don't know if there's an article for it because I can't seem to find it, but if that's the case, yikes. <laughs> the grind just got that much more difficult. You know, I just noticed something. If you carry six less shells, you carry everything in the turret. That's a lot of ammo. In truth, I don't know why you would want to carry 49 rounds, but <laughs> that's, uh, that's pretty funny, isn't it? Oh, nope, there's the ammunition down there. Damn, I should have carried a, a little bit less, but still. Dude, why? I only did this just to see how it would look in the inside because it's been a long time, but damn, that's a lot of ammo. <laughs> all right, all right. Is this? It's a juicy shot shot. Really? Did I just really say that? Yeah, I did. Side shot. <laughs> you guys are never going to let me live that one down, huh? <laughs> I got more front. Yeah, a, a lot more front. Hey, buddy. Hey, you tried. I'll give you that much. You tried. Huh? I I hear a uh, a T-72 down low. The question is, can we get him? Yes. Oh, there's more. Um, Don't look at me. You think he sees me? I don't think he sees me. I'm gonna go ahead and knock out his gun. I just realized something. I only have two crew. And I got an IT. Okay, can you pivot? Can you pivot? I'm, I'm trying to pivot this damn thing. There we go. Excuse me, sir. That was rude. I just gotta waste your friend really quick. Or not. I got kind of greedy right there. But the whole pivoting thing was, was kind of weird, to be honest. Hmm. So, Word in Chat said, uh, we kind of have a crap ton of terms on the C point. There's one. Where's the next one? Oh, I know you're right there. Oh, uh, yeah, he's, um, uh, I forgot the shell type that's called. Uh, the Sphenet's original round. Yeah, he can tear us a brand new one with that thing. But thankfully, we got him. Got a couple more front. I, I got what sounds like a BMP of some sort up here. I got a T-72, I think, to my right. All right. Where the hell is this guy? Oh, he's dead. Never mind. They got him. It was a T-72. Awesome. There's a uh, a little premium aircraft flying around. And I kind of want to not let him get the W on me. Oh, oh, I'm dead. <laughs> it's all right. You know what? There's something I don't normally do. But since we're at tier and I've got the speed, I'm going to do it anyway. Because what do I have to lose? How much is this thing worth? 4700 Yeah, it ain't worth much. <laughs> With a good reason. Let's do this. I'm going to die. Or maybe he's going to die. I got a better reload than you, buddy. Uh, Hi, Rock. Nice to meet you. Yeah, very nice to meet you. I got one more good shot. Got one more, one more, one more. Oh, okay, we won that fight. Well, I'm officially an American battle bunker for 20 seconds. <laughs> this is not gonna go well. Or maybe will it? Will it? It might. I'll be honest, that went a lot better than expected. <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna make it through like that. But you know what? I'll take it. And I got some people over on B. That's oh, not a good idea, or not a good thing, I mean. Got someone coming up front. Okay, risky, 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 risky. Okay, I just need to get him off that point. Here comes that little BMP, by the way. Oh, yeah, he definitely knows we're here. He did. 
<laughs> Thanks, teammates. Oh. Ooh, okay. I got a better reload than you, buddy. And he knows it. Yeah. 5.8 seconds, man. Can I go wrong with it? But I've been marked. People know I'm here. You go try it. Oh, he is. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I just... Oh, poor guy. All right, cool. We're good. We're doing great. We're right behind their lines. And we're doing great. I just jinxed myself, didn't I? That looks like a Chelly. Because it is a Chelly. Well, that was a terms, but... There's a Chelly right behind him. And I kind of want to get him. Too close to the spawn. Too close, too close. Too, way too close to their spawn. I tried to go around so I can get behind that chally, but I just realized I'm right next to their spawn. Ooh. Hey, oh, crap. Uh, don't 20 mil my, my barrel or anything, please. I'm gonna die. Uh, I had to jinx myself, huh? Damn. It's all right. We got to back up. All right. Our team's uh doing pretty damn good, too. We, we've taken the field. Our team got aggressive. Uh, they still have quite a few people left. Oh. oh, man, that was scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can take the kill if you want. But I guess I get to keep it. Cool. Yeah, our team's doing great. I'm proud of you guys. Let's win this game. There's an automatic right over here, I think. Since he's on the cap point. That's a dangerous tank. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're boned. Just, yeah. <laughs> I know where your ammo's at. I mean, it was smart of you to stay on the point right here to rearm your sable rounds, but uh, first shot is what counted, buddy, and unfortunately, you missed it. All right. Oh. oh he just kind of came out of nowhere. Like, I, I looked around the corner, and uh, he wasn't there until I scoped in. All right, cool. But in truth, guys, this game's over for them. There's only uh, three of them left. Except for that Saddam, apparently. The, the, the hell is going on? What's going on? Oh, it's this guy. Oh, no 50 cal. Come on. Yeah. Gotcha. He actually won that fight against that XM. Well done, dude. By the way, we almost have a nuke. Kind of sad we're not going to get one, though. Oh. oh, I guess um inching my way closer to it. <laughs> I know, I know. We're, we're spawn camping them, basically. But let's be honest here. We've got the whole point. This game's over. Just trying to remind them about that. Oh. It's a warrior. Oh, we're so close to a nuke. I'm not going to be able to drop it. Ah, oh, damn. You know what? We had a good run. Yeah, we had a good run. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think that does it. Oh, I just tracked myself. Really? Uh-oh. We're good. Okay. You know, in truth, this was a nice little trip down memory lane. The M1 Abrams was one of my most enjoyable favorite tanks in the game. At, at one point, yeah, in, in the early days of this vehicle's existence. It was a beast. It did very well. It was fast. It had great firepower. The M735 was a little bit better back then, and it can go through pretty much everything because composite wasn't really a big thing back then. This was such a rarity. Nowadays, as a 10.0 tank, I can understand some of the frustration some players might have with it. The M774 isn't a fantastic shell. Yeah, sure, I kind of made it look easy. That's because I know exactly what I'm doing. I know where to destroy tanks. I know if you shoot any T-Series tanks, T-80, T-90, T-72, if you shoot them like right here by the track, it'll blow up the tank eight out of 10 times. Other times, other players will do, or what they will do is they'll aim for the next spot or somewhere near the breach or lower glacis, but it's not always a guarantee, except for you know some of the time, uh, it's not always a guarantee. And a lot of players don't seem to understand that, which is why some T-72s at this tier perform very well. 
And if you compare this vehicle to, say, the Ariete Pre-Serie, which is at the same BR, but has DM33, hell, even the Leopard 2A4 has better capabilities than this vehicle at the exact same BR. So it's kind of a rough spot. I would personally, and I know what you guys are thinking, don't say this because he's it's actually going to happen. I would probably like to see this around 9.7 or give it the M833 APFS DS. Make this vehicle a little more new friendly because at 10.0 with a 105 and 400 millimeter penning heat shell, yeah, trust me, you're not going to have a good time against ERA, uh, Contact 1, Relict, Contact 5. Trust me, you won't have an easy time, especially when Vehicles like the T80 BVM have so much relict armor in the side of the vehicle, you cannot go through it with this heat FS period. So my best advice to you, go over to the M735. This is the first shell you want to grind for. Rather than parts and FPE as a start, kind of again for any vehicle, run for the Sable. Once you get this, trust me, the rest of this grind will become so much easier. Trust me, guys. I know what I'm talking about, <laughs> so I'm not usually that confident, but in this uh, in this instance, I will be. But aside from that, I want to know what you guys think. What do you think about the original M1 Abrams? Do you have any fond memories of it? Do you still play it? Or are you someone who is currently looking to grind said vehicle and see whether or not it's worthwhile in today's environment? In my opinion, it is, but tread lightly and very cautiously with this vehicle. Just saying. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Uh, if you guys happen to have enjoyed everything, you know where to find me over on my live streams on Twitch. Link is down there in the description as always. And if you want to support the channel while also getting my in-game decal, use the link down below as well with the War Thunder affiliate link. Buy anything with it, you get 3% off. You get my decal and it directly supports the channel as always. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get right to the editing bit, which I'm doing this before that, of course, and uh, I'm going to get this done out of the way so I can play some more Battlefield. Yeah, I know. It's a crap game. I get it. It's got terrible reviews. It's got like a 23% on Steam, but I enjoy it and I'm having fun with it. Okay, that's all that matters. I'll see you guys next time.